Hello and welcome everyone to another Mind Colonies video and today we're going to talk about a video which I think makes Mind Colonies so much better. So as you might remember we had a lot of interactions with the citizens which were done via the chat. So citizens would tell you they don't have a job, they don't have a home, they're hungry, they can't find a restaurant and they need a tool and so much more things via the chat. So that was impractical for a number of reasons. For once you would probably a few seconds later forget again who needed what a second you would have to find the citizen with the name who was needing something and third it was pretty spammy so we thought about something and we've been working the last few weeks on realizing this so as you might see and also render through here there are a few symbols here in the colony which render so you can see here there's like a name and a yellow symbol and here a bit far away there's a red symbol and those symbols indicate that these citizens need something so a yellow symbol usually means something it's not a serious issue so for example Emily here if I right click her she's going to tell me that it would make her shop much easier if she had leggings boots helmet and chest plate and after going through the menu you can access the normal GUI again now our worker over here he actually has a more pressing issue and if we right click him again he's going to tell us he needs an X to continue working. So I can click I will work on it, I can please remind me later to disable the icon and just re-enable it in a few minutes or I can say more details please, it's going to bring me to the tool page, I can fulfill it, as you can see a second later it disappears and this is done for basically all the citizens. So here, over here, our cook for example, he is complaining that he doesn't know what kind of fuel to use and in this case, since it's not a request, you can even completely ignore it until this issue has been resolved or another worker has been assigned. So if I click please remind me later, again it disappears and in a few minutes it's going to reappear, but also if I just select a new kind of fuel you can use here, it's also going to follow it. So I think this is going to make it so much easier to solve this. Now a few of the things we still have in the chat, for example, the notification that the worker just grew up, that you have a new child living in your colony, that the builder finished or started something, those are event based things which is quite difficult to have in an interactive mode. And But all the other things which were quite spammy were removed and moved into this new system. And we are also planning on integrating some kind of status in these systems, which are going to tell you when you right click a random citizen, even if he doesn't have any request or anything blocking him, that he's going to chatter a bit about what he is currently up to. So if there's a barbarian raid, he's going to tell you that he's going to hide in his house because of the raid or similar things. So you always know why he's, why he's currently doing something or currently doing nothing. And besides that, I think it's one of the base things we also need for a quest system. Because this base system we have right now allows us to also pretty much code some rudimentary quest systems into the mod. For example, what does she has? Like I would make it would make my job much easier if I had 16 compost. So I can fulfill it, and the request is going to disappear in a little bit, and done. So I hope you like this new feature as much as I do. I'll see you in the next video.